welcome to Dolce Bella Designs. This is Deb. And today I am here to show you the tr uh, Modified Trinity Stitch. The Modified Trinity Stitch is a cluster stitch. It is very similar to the Trinity Stitch, which is made with three single crochets together. But the Modified Trinity uses three double crochets together. The Modified Trinity makes it a little bit looser fabric than the Trinity Stitch, but it's still considered a Trinity a, a cluster stitch. Um, the Modified Trinity is the same on the front and on the back, and it is a great stitch to use for things like hats, blankets, scarves, um, pretty much a lot of different um, projects. So if you're ready to get started, let's put our sample off to the side. Let's grab our yarn. We're going to start our um, our, our sample with a slip knot. So what, however is easiest for you to do your slip knot, add that to it. Um, and then we're gonna take our crochet hook and we're going to insert it into our slip knot. From there, now that like the Trinity stitch, the modified Trinity works with multiples of two. So any even number. So I'm gonna work 26. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, 25 and 26. Now that we have our 26 chains for my sample here, we are going to start in the fourth chain from the hook. We do not count the chain that is on our hook. One, two, three, and four. And in that fourth chain, we are going to begin our first double, three, uh, our first modified Trinity stitch, which is three double crochets together. We are going to yarn over and insert our hook into that stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Then we are going to work into the next stitch, yarn over, insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's our second beginning of our beginning of our second double crochet. So yarn over and insert into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two so now we have three double crochets that we have begun we have four loops on our hook we are going to yarn over and pull through all four of those loops we're going to chain one to close that and make sure that is a loose chain so now we have a chain three which at the beginning counts as a double crochet and then we've done three double crochets together in the next three stitches. Chained one to close those stitches. Now, to start our next um, modified Trinity stitch or three double crochets together, we are going to yarn over and we're going to insert into the same stitch that we just finished that last modified Trinity stitch. We're gonna pull up a loop so we have three loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through two of those loops. Now we're gonna to go to the next chain, yarn over, insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. That's the beginning of our second double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That is our third double crochet that we have begun. Now we're going to yarn over, whoops, and pull through all four of those chain, all four of those loops. Chain one loosely and we have finished our second double modified trinity or three double crochets together. We're going to continue this across by yarning over, inserting in our, to the same stitch we just finished, pulling up a loop so we have yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. And one more time in the next chain, yarn over and insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. We have our four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all four. Then we are going to chain one loosely to close that Trinity stitch. 
And that is how we're going to work across the row. You're going to continue in the same way across your row until you get to the last two chains. Again, you always yarn over and start in the chain in the stitch that you just worked, you finished in, pulling up a loop, yarning over and pulling through two loops, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, your second double crochet started, yarn over and insert into the third chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, uh, pull through two, and you've got four loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all four and close it using a loose chain. Continue that across the row until you get to the end of the row and have two chain stitches left. I will meet you at the end. All right, I'm at the end of my row. As you can see, I have just completed a modified trinity and done a chain one. I have two chains left. We are ready to finish this row one. We're going to yarn over and insert into the same stitch that we just finished, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through two of those loops. Now we're gonna go into the next chain, yarn over, insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Our second double crochet started. And finally, yarn over and insert into that last chain, pulling up a loop, and yarning over and pulling through two loops. We have our four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all four. Now, instead of doing a chain one, we're simply going to yarn over and insert into that last chain once again, pulling up a loop and creating a double crochet. So we're going to end with a double crochet on each one of our rows. And that is row one of our modified Trinity. To begin row two, we are going to three, turn our work. That chain three at the beginning counts as a double crochet. So to begin our first um, modified Trinity stitch, which is a three double crochets together, we're going to yarn over and insert into that same stitch that the bottom of that chain three, which counts as a double crochet, pulling up a loop, yarn over and draw through two. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through two. And then yarn over one more time and putting it into the next stitch, pulling up a loop, yarn over, draw through two. You still have four, you now have four hooks, four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all four, chaining one loosely to close that stitch. Again, this is a one row repeat. So this is the repeat row. We've just finished a Trinity stitch. We're going to yarn over and insert back into that same stitch we just worked pulling up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Moving on to the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And then yarn over and pull through all four and then chain one loosely. One more time, we're gonna work back into that stitch we just made. So we're yarn over, insert our hook into that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And one more time, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. You will have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four. Then chain one to complete that stitch, to close that stitch. This is our repeat row, so continue that across the row and I will meet you at the end. All right, I have got my last two stitches left. I've just finished my modified Trinity, which is three double crochets together and did my chain one. I'm going to yarn over I'm going to insert into that same stitch that I just completed and worked in, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through two. That's the first leg of my Trinity, modified Trinity stitch. Insert into the next stitch, pull it up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Then I'm gonna yarn over and I'm gonna insert into that top of that turning chain from row one where we, where we began. I'm gonna insert my hook and pull up a loop. I'm gonna pull, yarn over and pull through two of those loops. 
Then I have four loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all four. Now, instead of chaining one on this very last stitch, I'm just simply going to yarn over, insert my hook back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and create a double crochet at the very end. Then to go on to row, we are now ready for row three. We are going to chain three. Remember that this chain three counts as a double crochet. We are going to turn our work. And now we're going to begin our first modified Trinity stitch or three double crochets together in the base of that chain three um, stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, pulling up a loop and yarn over, draw through two. Now going on to the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's the second uh, uh, double crochet beginning and yarn over, insert into the third stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four, then chain one to close that stitch. And this is the beginning of row three. So we've created, we've got our chain three which counts as a double crochet right here and then we've got our one two three double crochets work together or our modified trinity cluster and then our chain one we are now ready to continue across the row repeating row two where we yarn over and begin our cluster in that same stitch we just completed drawing through two of the loops yarn over insert into the next stitch pulling up a loop yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, inserting into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Having four loops on your hook, you'll yarn over and pull through all four, then chain one to close. We'll continue that across this row. And again, the modified Trinity is simply three double crochets work together, and you basically start three double crochets in three different stitches and then close it off all together at the end and then chain one to close the stitch and this stitch is a one row repeat so you're simply going to repeat row two until you get to the length of your project it begins with an even number so it's a great stitch to use for lots of different things all right well thank you so much for stopping by here at dulce bella designs i hope that you have enjoyed this stitch tutorial and i hope to see you next time please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and um let me know in the comments what you think you would use this beautiful stitch for and until next time happy crochet